Ever since Lee Anderson became the deputy chair of the Tory party, he's been under a lot of attacks from the liberal media to the left-wing establishments, but he is refusing to get cancelled. Oh yes, the left-wing mob are here to create their own everyday intimidation and the cancel culture mentality and just the usual stuff that they do with anybody who disagrees with their worldview and those who refuse to obey to the system. Now, Lee Anderson has been uh, <laughs> in the news a lot quite recently and he actually has been under a lot, a lot of attacks from the left-wing press and media to the politicos and everybody. And one of them was they tried to dig and find stuff about his background which again is now becoming complete bullying. One was a photo, <laughs> a group photo, and he was standing next to someone who then people discovered and all the photos, and different photos of that person that had links to the, the hard right, the far right or whatever, right? And then they said, well, that means that Lee Anderson is also far right. Usually politicians, when they get cornered like this, they apologize or they try to explain or defend themselves saying, oh no, no, I'm very much against this, I don't like this. Lee Anderson decided to just completely refuse to fall for the trap. He didn't apologize. He simply just said, get used to it. This is what I actually did. He told the truth about uh, the background behind uh, that photo or the people. It's quite interesting because he is refusing to get cancelled. Hey, Oxley, Member of Parliament, Rashford and Eastwood, thought I'd do a quick video for Twitter to address the nonsense that's been put out about being, me being connected to some far-right organisations, um, i.e. the Scooter Club at Skegby. Let me tell you the facts. I met the club three times. The first time was to raise money for a pensioner who couldn't live in his house anymore. It's full of rats and vermin. We raised £4,000 with the Scooter Club. The second occasion was with a young man who had had some problems early in his life. He's turned his life around to martial arts and raised over £1,000 to send him to Italy to the MMA uh, Fighting Championships. He's a great young man. And the third time I met the Scooter Club was at their presentation night where John the Pensioner came as guest as honour and I handed out some trophies to some lads who had got the best scooter in show. It just so happens on all these occasions some of the lads have got a, a t-shirt on or uh, some had been linked to a, a punk band in the 90s that sung songs with Hitler in and somebody had been in the BNP 25 years ago. Look, I don't ask people um, about their political background or, or anything when they ask for a photo. I just have a photo took. Uh, with these people. Look, we've raised thousands of pounds for good causes and the uh, the mainstream media should be ashamed of themselves for reporting this nonsense. Absolutely well done, Lee Anderson. Do not surrender to these people. And he makes a good point. You don't really ask every single person. Let's have a sit down. We're going to have a chat about your views and every, every connection that you have. I'm going to vet you before a photo. I've had photos with a lot of crazy people. I once had a photo with Owen Jones. Do I have to actually ask him whether he actually believes in communism? Well, he does. So <laughs> it's not really a good excuse for people to say, well, someone crazy was in your photo. Then you deserve to be cancelled because you, by definition, are also hard right. But Lee Anderson is actually going up um, in terms of, uh, well, with, among the political circus and the class, and yeah, mainly because he stands out. He's one of the few MPs we have uh, that it's not it's not the fact that he's conservative rather than Tory, uh, but he actually is one of the few MPs, regardless of political leanings, that he's straight talking. And he actually, he also says what a lot of people are thinking, but they can't say. But he is the definition of a, a local representative. He's a member of parliament, representative of the public, of the electorate. Uh, he was actually doing his interview uh, with Lewis Perry, and uh, he was asked about... Uh, the, the, the emergency, the, the Greta Thunberg climate side, whether it's an emergency or not, not many MPs are willing to be brave enough to say no. By the way, there's a difference between emergency to do net zero and the existence of change, climate change. Let's go to this. Right, okay, so five quick fire questions and then I'm all done. Um, so, okay, number one. Climate catastrophe or no climate catastrophe? No climate catastrophe. Okay, fracking or no fracking? Fracking. Fracking or wind farms? Fracking. Excellent. Juicy steak or a salad? 
Steak. Oh no, it's different at the moment, isn't it's it? It's steak, but no chips at the moment. Ste so steak with salad. Steak maybe. with salad, yeah. Yep. Compromise. Excellent. And final question to you, Lee Anderson, MP. Heat or eat? Heat or eat? Mm. It's got to be heat. You can live longer without food than you can without heat. Brilliant. Just simple biology. Brilliant. I, one of the interesting things about Lee Anderson is, whether you agree or disagree with him, he actually answers questions. He doesn't really think about the PR consequences of, well, I'm going to go into trouble for saying this. No. If he likes fracking, he's going to say he likes fracking. If he is a, um, in, in favor of a steak without chips because he wants to lose weight, <laughs> let him do it. And, <laughs> and all the other stuff. It is important to actually talk about these things in a very straightforward way. And he does it all the time. So the Liberal Democrats started this campaign to go out there and like, smear him. There was a proper smear campaign against him. Meet the new Conservative Party deputy uh, saying people, and, you know, all, all these comments, people use food banks, can't cook properly. Uh, let's have new <laughs> nuisance uh, tenants live in tents and pick potatoes. Um, nobody has ever committed a crime after being ex executed. <laughs> and then <clears throat> Lee Anderson said, Lib Dem's new attack poster. Please drop me 48,000 um, of, of these and I will deliver them myself in Ashfield. Hashtag winning here. <laughs> he refuses to get cancelled. Anybody, not just a politician, but normal people. And um, if, if you have people creating these campaigns against you and smear campaigns and faces intimidation and bullying, harassment, we, we will get completely destroyed. You know, they, we, we can't really just get on with life and have thousands of people going out in the media uh, talking nonsense about us he's strong and stable he's a definition of strong and stable he gets on with his life and obviously i see him on a regular basis he's, he's actually strong and stable he, he doesn't just play it up and um, he, he he doesn't let allow these people to get to him so it's a very good lesson to learn when it comes to uh, whether you want to be in politics or media or just in life in general because you cannot cave in you cannot allow even a small a, a group of a loud minority of idiots to call the shots, to shift the narrative in their own favor, just because they want to say, well, you have to accept that you are now hard right, because we said it, you have to apologize for it, and you have to cancel yourself, you have to basically leave the country or whatever, and you have to now help us win our cause. That's the reality, because they don't want the apology. They don't care about the apology. We've already talked about what happened with Jeremy Clarkson. He actually apologized for his article that he, that he wrote about Meghan Markle. They still decided to kick him while he was on the floor. They are still trying to investigate him. They are trying to cancel him. And But again, it's a perfect uh, example of why you should not apologize unless you have done something wrong in life. If you haven't, don't do it. Anyway, let, let me know what you think in the comment section on my 2 and We are the media.